One of the ways I keep my iPhone feeling fresh and new is by changing wallpapers. I do it all the time. But it was a bit of a chore since you had to go into settings and click on the wallpaper and, you know, mess around from there. I was really excited when iOS 16 came out and allowed the creation of multiple custom home screens and lock screens. And now, with just a long press on the screen, I can swipe between all my custom screens and pick something fresh. If you'd like to learn how to make custom lock screens and home screens, then stick around. This short video is for you. Hi, my name is Rich and I'm glad you're here. I make videos on how to use your iPhone and iPad that are short, easy to follow, and I hope always helpful. Today's video is all about creating custom lock screens and home screens, and I love this little feature, and I think you will too. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to check to make sure you've got iOS 16 installed because that's what you need to do this. I'll show you two ways you can access your lock screen, how to create a new lock screen and home screen, and then how to customize the new screens. All right, let's get started. All right, in order for this to work, you have to have iOS 16 on your phone. That's the currently the latest operating system. And the way you check that is you go into settings and you can tap on general and then you can tap on about. And here you'll see I have version 16.2. If you don't have 16 or later, you can go back to software update and if your phone will accept the most recent update it'll show up here in this case it says iOS is up to date so there's no updates for me but if there's an update available for you that will move you from 15 to 16 you can tap on that and install it and just make sure you've got iOS 16 or none of this stuff works okay you might not know this, but there's actually two ways that you can get to your lock screen. The way you're probably most familiar with is that you have your iPhone like this and you tap on it and you bring up the lock screen. That's the screen that shows up first when you pick up your iPhone. But there's another way to do it. Once you've opened your iPhone and you're on your home screen, which is different from your lock screen, you can actually swipe down from the top and you'll have some notifications and you can swipe again and now you're back to your lock screen. So there are two ways to get to the lock screen. It's really simple. Now, I wanna show you how you can add a new lock screen and home screen. So now here we are. If you just tap and hold on it, you can see that I've made a bunch of different lock screens already and I can change those out whenever I want to. But if you slide to the left, you'll finally get to one where there's a plus. And here you simply tap on it. And when you tap on it, you have a whole bunch of different choices on what you can make. You've got featured, which is a bunch of things that Apple likes. You've got photos from your photo library that um, your iPhone is suggesting you might want to use for your home screen. You can actually do a photo shuffle where it just changes pictures automatically. So, you know, maybe you have 10 different photos that you like and it can rotate among those. It has weather and astronomy uh, home screens. It has emoji home screens. And then there are collections down at the bottom and then just different colors. And all of these things can be that way. So we'll start with, let's say, the Earth like this. And it says allow astronomy to use your approximate location. We'll put allow while using app. And then you can just simply tap on it, the add at the top. And now you've got set as wallpaper. And you've also got your home screen over here. So we'll click on set as wallpaper. And now you tap on it. And now you've got your home screen just like that. So now I've added a new home screen and lock screen to the iPhone. And if I want to get back to that lock screen, I'll swipe down from the top. And now I'm here and I want to customize that. So it's really easy to customize. Now I've got this one right here and I can just tap on customize. And I'm going to customize the lock screen. Let's see what choices we have. Down here, you've got earth detail and you can swipe around and maybe you want that. Maybe you want something closer. Maybe you want the moon, moon detail. 
or the entire solar system can be on there. So you're swiping down here between them. I think I like maybe that one the best. So I'm going to do that. And then you can also customize these widgets that are up here. So right now, if you tap on today is Friday the 13th, great day to make a video. Uh, you can add different widgets that are on here. So I'm going to use maybe my fitness up there and that'll show me how many calories I've uh, tracked for the day. And then you can also add widgets right here. So I'm going to add my battery life and I'm going to add the weather. Tap on that and the weather shows up over here. And now I've customized that. Now you can also customize the time, how that looks. If you tap on it, you can choose different fonts for it, like that. And you can choose different colors. You can make it bright white, you can make it, and you, you can even slide and get different hues of that color. So maybe you want purple or pinkish kind of color, or you can just go back to that or the white. I like the white. So what we've done here is we've created a new lock screen that's got, that's got information up at the top, health information. It's got the time, it's got the battery icon, and it's got the weather icon. So when I click done, I've now got that finished. And if I tap on it, that's my new lock screen. And when I pick up the phone without ever having to do anything, I can see what my battery percentage is, what the weather is outside, the date, and some kind of health information. And of course, you can choose any widgets that you want to go on that. Now, you can also do this on your home screen. So if we tap on it again, and we go to Customize, now you've got a choice over here of how to customize your home screen. So if we tap on that, you can see that you've got some choices down here. It doesn't have to be the same thing as your lock screen. You can choose photos. You know, maybe you want a photo in there. Or you can choose a gradient. And you can choose a color. Or you can pair the two so it matches your lock screen. And you can also add something called a blur to it. And now we'll go to the home screen. And if you'll notice, here's the earth. And if I were to add a widget to that we'll just add the calendar and it's up there if we go back to the lock screen and again we press and hold to customize and we tap on customize and now we go to the home screen you can blur the background of the home screen notice how that blurred and sometimes if you have a whole lot of icons on the home screen Having the background blurred makes the icon stand out a little bit more and it's just easier to see. I use blur on a variety of different ones. And then you click done and now we go back to the home screen and you can see that it's kind of blurred out. This icon is up a little high so it doesn't make much of a difference but I think you get the idea of what I'm talking about. If you had a bunch of icons down at the bottom then it would make sense to use blur. And that is really how you customize it. Again, you just go to your lock screen, press and tap, and then you can go in to customize. But here's the cool thing about it, because I like to keep my iPhone looking fresh, is I've made a whole bunch of different lock screens and home screens, and you can just slide through them. Rather than having to go in and create them, you can create a whole bunch of different ones and just put them up there whenever you want them, whenever you feel like you need a change, like that. That's a pretty nice one. And then if you go, you notice how it's blurred in the background. If I press on it again and I go over to one of these, this is an example of one I've created. And when you tap on it and you click customize, in this case, this is a photo and you can change how the photo looks. Here it is in color, here it is in black and white, here it is in duotone, and then just sort of a color wash. So you can go back and forth depending on what you're using on the lock screen. So if you're using a photo like this is, this is actually a photo, um, you can change it just like that. 
And there's just so many different ways that you can customize your home screen and lock screen. There's a photo that I took uh, at Myrtle Beach. And if I go in here, I can change that to different colors, duotone, color wash, natural, black and white, just to, to keep things fresh. And what I like best is that you can just scroll among all of them. Once you've got a dozen or more home screens made, you can pick it up and just quickly choose a home screen and lock screen and you're good to go, just like that. Once you make a few of these things, you'll get the hang of it. Give it a try. You've got nothing to lose. And no, you won't mess your phone up if you don't do it right. Besides, you can always rewatch this video again to make sure you've got the steps down. Okay, that's it for today's tutorial. It was brief, but I hope helpful. As always, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.